All right, guys. It is me, Adis Richie, guys. Today, guys, we have the big match. United States of America versus Canada, guys. I am very, very much looking forward to this match. This is a huge, huge match. And obviously, as you can guys can see, the lamps have already been released. Obviously, I know the images aren't out yet for the players. Obviously, I'm not going to wait for that, guys. I need to get this out as soon as I can. I'm a very busy man, guys. I've got a lot of work to do today. So I'm very, very sorry I'm not waiting this long. And you guys need to understand as well. So obviously, for the post-match review, I guess we'll see all the graphics. But for right now, let's just discuss about the match itself. And let's just give you guys a little bit of a tactical preview, I guess. So for the U.S. in particular, I think we are going to go with our lineup. We have our lineup already. Yeah, let's look at the lineups instead. So we have Sebastian up front. Christian Pulisic, Serginho Dest, Anthony Robinson, Miles Robinson, Tyler Adams, Sebastian Legend, John Brooks, Kellen Acosta, Matt Turner. This, for me, is almost the best lineup the USA could have had. Now, obviously, there are two players I want to discuss real quickly. Gina Reyna did not get into the team. He suffered a dislocated shoulder, meaning that he's basically out for the rest of the international break. So he will no longer be playing for us, which is very, very sad indeed, because in my opinion, he is the most consistent player we have seen from the U.S., um, and then you also have the other player, as in Weston McKinney, who apparently broke the team protocols. I'm not very sure. I have a feeling he probably tested positive, if I'm being honest. I don't really know. I'm just guessing. That's all speculation. But he will not be taking part. Um, but as I said, I think this is still a very good lineup. I think with the U.S., there's a lot of quality there. I'm hoping that Sabatru and Pulisic can combine well together. Um, and by the way, I forgot to tell you, Zach Steffen also tested positive. He will not be playing in the goal. And I think for me, that's going to be interesting. Let's see if Matt Turner, John Brooks. Um, I'm hoping that we can see Serginho Dest put out a good performance. Because for me, guys, Serginho Dest, he's been playing as a left back, which for the U.S. men's national team, I just don't think is cut it. He just can't work as a left back. He's only really good as a right back, in my opinion. So hopefully he could do well as a right back here. And then for the Canadian men's national team, we could see there's Kyle Lauren there, Junior Hollett, Richie Larry. Milan Boran, Scott Kennedy, Don O'Hare, Johnston, Estorco, Estacuo, and then Alfonso Davis and Kai. I've heard Estacuo is a really important player for Canada, not Canada, Canada, and they were they definitely missed him against the U.S. last time around. Alfonso Davis as well. Obviously, we know the qualities he brings as a fullback. I'm really curious to see how the Des versus Davis battle happens again. That will be interesting to see um, who prevails in that one. And then obviously you have Boran, who's a pretty solid goalkeeper, plays for I believe Red Star Belgrade. You know, so it's going to be really interesting, guys. It's going to be a really interesting date. And then, obviously, I'm a bit surprised to see Jonathan David actually not get to be in the starting level. He is actually on the bench, so he can come off the bench. As for the U.S., we have some good players. You got Josh Sarge that could come off the bench. You got Mark McKenzie, Christian Oldon, Zimmerman, you know, Ricardo Pepe, DeAndre Yedlin, you know, James Sand, you know. So, yeah, for me in this game, guys, I think what's going to be very key is that we score an early goal. We score an early goal, guys. For me, this is the type of game that early goal will mean everything. And I know, obviously, that's a very obvious thing that goes for any game. But I really do believe that in this kind of game, the fact that USA is the host team here is huge, right? And I feel like if we can score first in this game, we can unsettle Canada. We can get let Canada grow. We can't allow Canada to grow in the game. We have to score as many goals as we can early in the game. So then it will take a long time for Canada to readjust because we saw last time around that when USA scored first early on against Canada, in the last three occasions, Last out of the last three games, because I'm looking into the Nations League, um, the USA have prevailed on three, uh, two of those games. The only game that they lost was to was the one and two nil, where Canada won two nil at their stadium, and we scored. The Canada scored a goal in the second half, I believe. So, if we want to win this game, we got to score in the first half. We have to score in the first half. And for me, what I'm telling you this right now, guys, the U.S. have struggled to score an open play. The U.S. have struggled to score an open play so much, and I feel like for me to um, stop this Canadian team, we might need to score from a set piece. We might need to score from a set piece here. And I feel like that could be the difference maker for the U.S. is that if we could score from a set piece early on this game, that will be big. Because we saw how big the set pieces were against Mexico, how critical it was. So I'm looking forward to see how Christian Pulis can combine well with the um, players he's got. And remember, guys, this is his first game in a very long time. He has tested positive for a long time. So hopefully... He can have a solid performance, and hopefully Christian Pulisic is very much effective because what I've seen so far with Christian Pulisic with the U.S. men's out team has been very disappointing, very, very disappointing. I haven't really been impressed with him. He's been very, very much ineffective. And the only time I would say he was been really, really good was when when Greg Rohalter tried it out against Northern Ireland, which I believe he played in a 3-5-2, I think I want to say. 
he's been very ineffective in a 4-3-3. So hopefully Christian Pulisic can do well in this game. And I'm just hoping that we can get a victory, guys, because for me, it is imperative. As for Canada, man, I feel like if we can unsettle the defense early on, we can expose them. Because for me, I don't really think Canada's defense is that great. And I feel like if we could score an early goal, one or two early goals within the first 20 minutes of the game, I think we can go on to win this game by a big margin. But if we score, like if we keep the first half nil-nil and second half goes on, I could see this end up being a draw, a nil-nil draw, or Canada to scrape a one-nil win. I could see that also happening as well. And for me, the U.S.'s defense has been really solid. For me, John Brooks and Tyler Adams, um, John Brooks, Miles Robinson have been really, really good. We saw what Miles Robinson did for us in the Gold Cup, and Matt Turner has been amazing in goal. He's been an amazing goalkeeper. So, yeah, man. So, for my prediction for this game, I think we're gonna, I'm going to make a bold statement that we went two goals to nil, guys. I think we're going to keep a clean sheet in this game. And if we do keep a clean sheet in this game, I'll be very, very much impressive indeed. So, I am thinking that we keep a clean sheet in this game, and I think we're going to score a goal within the within the, first, the tenth minute of the game. And I think that's going to be from. I'm going to say it's going to be a header. From why not? I'm gonna say Sebastian Legia. I think Sebastian Legia will score a goal. He's he's got a good goal scoring form. And then you know what? The second goal I think is gonna come from Kellen Acosta. Kellen Acosta for me had a really solid goal cup as well. And so I think he can definitely score around the 60th minute to wrap home a 2-0 win. As I said before, guys, we need an early goal in this game. A early goal in this game will be incredibly valuable. And for me, guys, this is our game to lose. Because as I said before, guys, if we're going by the logic of the CONCACAF for the U.S. is to win our home games and draw away games. And this is the game that we cannot afford to draw. A draw or a loss would be devastating. I would not want to be at one or a zero, two or one point from two games. That would be very unacceptable indeed. And with this window, guys, we should be aiming to get seven points. I mean, realistically, five is kind of like our target, but I want to get seven. You know, and I feel like seven out of nine would be a good progress for us in this window. Okay, so I want you guys to comment down below your predictions for this game, guys. Um, and remember, guys, this is a huge, huge game indeed. Huge ramifications indeed. And I think both these nations, it's going to be a really good game. I think it's going to be a really fun game. And I hope this time around the U.S. can actually play well and not just get the result, but also deservedly win the game. Not undeservedly, as we saw last time. So I hope you guys do enjoy the video, guys. Remember, guys, to comment, subscribe. Check out my description below, Twitter, Discord, and my email. I'll see you guys. And by the way, guys, I forgot to mention this. The USA needs to control the midfield battle because if you allow Canada to dominate us, guys, we ain't going to keep a clean sheet. Let me just say this right now, guys. As good as the defensive hours have been, we cannot. We are probably not going to keep a clean sheet if we allow Canada to dominate us as they did last time around the Gold Cup because they got way better players. Fonzo Davis and, you know, Kyle Lauren, these are a lot better players than they, they had ever there. Cavallini, you know, so, yeah, and Buchanan as well could come off the bench. I think he could do um, some damage for Canada. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.